friends, how are you? Okay, so today I've got the opportunity to come in front of you to share some of the ideas and basically one of the experience which I have uh, got yesterday on 23rd May 2020 related to the topic is copyright. Okay, so now you'll you'll be start thinking a word copyright. We also know about the copyright, the C which is there, the alphabet C in a circle. Okay, the problem is everyone knows about the copyright the the most important thing is that we don't know which kind of stuff comes under the copyright okay we only know that copyright means the things which have been owned by the particular person and we are not been allowed to use that stuff okay but when it comes on you to create something but your ideas are getting matched with different person ideas then what you will do now like a music if you'll take the music from the Google or if you'll download the music and if you just insert the music in your video and the same music get matched with the owner's music and he puts a claim on you then what what are you going to do so like we have the example other examples also you you take one photo from the Google stick in your video somewhere and uh, just post it on the YouTube and let see what will be the result okay we have not took the permission from the owner that I'm, I'm going to take your photo I'm going to use it so you will get the idea okay you will get the experience from the owner exactly what he does on you which legal actions he can take on you or when you start to get the views on the YouTube when you start to earn the money the same money gets refunded to the owner and you get what zero so my friends the same experience i have got yesterday so it is not like uh, i have to the the thing came on me that i have to pay for the owner or something no before uploading my video on the youtube i just sent my video for like you know the, for the filtration to my one of my friend who is working in a cyber security so he gone through the video and he asked only one question for me dude have you have you checked for the animation copyright so he was, he was send me the message so i was not been able to contact him directly so i was just keep on rolling on it my god what i've did uh, have i break down the copyright rules so i was just trying to contact him but he was he was out of reach so it started to burn my mind so i've gone on google i search over there exactly what mistake i've did so when I read the terms and condition of the copyright that you can't use the songs, you can't use the words, you can't use the books, you can't use cinemagraphy, this kind of stuff you can't use which is which which is already been copyrighted. And if you try to use it, some of the legal actions can be taken on you by the owner. Or if you earn the money through their material, then you have to refund that money for the owner. Or if your channel is there on the YouTube, then the chances are that the strike will come. If you still follow the, if you don't follow the rules, then three times the strike comes and your channels get deleted, and you can't use that channel again. And the videos which are, you was already made on that channel, you can't use those videos on your new channel. Again, the same thing comes like copyright thing, because the the new channel which you are going to make obviously that will be made by the new owner so you can't use your videos on the new channel so the experience was like the animation clips which i was used they were coming under the copyright things that's why i was sent the message on the on the whatsapp also on the status like uh, my video will get delayed uh, some technical problem is there so it took efforts for me around like five to six days to make the video but Again, the same thing, copyright thing. That's why I stopped my work, and the, this video is coming in front of you. So now the thing which the the stuff or the knowledge which I've got from this experience that be genuine. Don't try to copy someone else's work. Don't try to make something different, which will affect you, like you copy things, and. Uh, the software, the application which I was using to edit my videos when I go on online, when I go on Google to search the details of it 
So clearly it was mentioned that the videos which will be made in our application can't get uploaded on the YouTube and if you do, a legal action will be taken on the creator. So now I'm thinking that instead of using the animations, it's better that directly come in front of you online or live and uh, share my knowledge with you. So this is basically like a start for me because I don't want to lose my seven videos which are already uploaded on YouTube and uh, it will be dangerous for me to lose my seven videos and um, they are big asset for me and the views and subscribers which are there if a little mistake will destroy my my seven videos and my channel also so it's better that now i've deleted that application from my mobile and with that application i've deleted other applications also which are using my personal data for their work yes my data for their personal work like any application when i download in my phone the company asks for the access for your storage for your microphone for your camera so friends the thing is that they are i, I don't know but they are trying to get access with your data maybe like now your phone is not get, got connected with your bank details or something but the person whose back mobile is, has got been connected to the bank details it can be dangerous for those people yes like my phone is not got connected with the bank details or like uh, um, my details are not there more in my phone but it can be dangerous for me also why because the chances are there in my gallery the videos the um the search which i do what kind of search i'm doing on my phone which information i'm trying to take out uh, the everything goes in their account and they do the search on it what kind of the person is this particular person so that's why i have deleted some of the applications which i was using for creating the videos because yesterday i've gone through so one of the application was there to create the music and um so i downloaded it why because i can't um, access the music also now because anything can happen of the copyright thing so i thought that to download one of the application to create my own music before that i just checked their terms and policy my god the whole chart came in front of me and clearly it was mentioned that for this we will use the information for that we will use your information if any other company needs the information we will provide your information for them so it is very dangerous yes when your information your personal information get leaked to someone else they can make a misuse of it how these applications are getting created but when we try to use the material they are showing us c copyright c yes you can't copy you can't use our material to advertise yourself so in this way my suggestion will be there for everyone please check for the c copyright c that what comes under this check the guidelines and if you're a new youtuber if you have if you want to create the channel please don't post anyone else videos on your channel no until and unless you have not got the permission from someone else it means from the front person that okay if you post it no problem but without asking without taking the permission don't post anyone else videos on okay, at the end i would like to tell you as a conclusion what i've learned the through the experience which i've got that for the upcoming videos of mine i'm not going to use any kind of animation if if there is a necessary necessity okay then somewhere there will be the animation but i'm not going to like 99 percent i'm not going to use any kind of application to insert animation no sound will be there for it then uh, no photos okay the photos i will search for it first thing like um, okay this photo is coming under the copyright or it is copyright free then only i'm going to insert in my video otherwise i'm not going to use it my videos will be simple and they will be like the guiding videos for you like as the name of my channel is hill tech channel okay so according to the name the information will get provided for you for the next time and um, so next for the next time just keep in mind that um, be be aware with the word c the alphabet c the word copyright because it can be dangerous for you if you want to be a 
creator on YouTube channel because lots of restrictions are there on the YouTube. You can't do this, you can't do that, you can um, you just don't use this. So before creating your channel, try to do the study. Okay, try to get the material in front of you, whichever is needed or whichever is like uh, out of the copyright thing. Then only use it and create your video. Thank you everyone.